in the second West Coast Conference men's basketball quarterfinal game in overtime, fourth seed San Francisco Dons defeat number five seed Pacific Tigers 71 to 70. With the victory, the Dons are off to the semifinals. They'll face the winner of tonight's game between Gonzaga and Loyola Marymount. And Monday night's games will be determined in terms of game time after tonight's quarterfinals conclude. It'll either be at 6 or 8.30 Monday night. We're joined by USF head coach Kyle Smith, along with student athletes Frankie Ferrari and Jordan Rotino. Uh, coach Smith, we'd like to begin with you. An opening statement on the win, please. Ooh, that was a tough one. I mean, we expected that. Uh, Pacific uh, has been gritty all year. Um, we beat them twice. I'm very fortunate and thought we played really well. Both two of our best games of the year playing against those guys. And um, they, uh, they jumped us pretty good first half, and, and we were scrappy enough to kind of find a way. And they kept coming back and battled and got some really good efforts on their part. And really a lot of res respect for Coach Stoudemire and what he's done. But uh, just a great win for, for our program. Thanks, Coach. We'll take questions from media members. I'd like to start with student athletes first, please, and let us know your name and affiliation, Rusty. Rusty Simmons from the San Francisco Chronicle, uh, Frankie Jordan. I don't think either team led by more than six. What is it about you guys that, that allows you to win a ball game like that? Well, I think it's just it's hard to beat any team three times. And uh, the first two were also greedy games where they made late runs. And I think we, we kind of turned the flip the page and we made a late run at them. And, uh, you know, any time in March, no game is easy and no win is easy. So uh, I'm glad we got it done. And it was it was a tough one. Yeah, um, like you said, every game in March is going to be a tough one. We knew that going in. Um, we started out a little slow defensively, uh, gave them a lot of baskets um, that we shouldn't have given them. Um, but I think second half we just came out more gritty and uh, got the job done at the end. So it was a good one. Other questions for San Francisco student athletes, for media members? We'll go to John. Yeah, to uh, uh, John Crumpacker, West Coast Conference Sports. Uh, Jordan, uh, what did your uh, zone defense enable you to do? You went to it quite a bit. What, uh, how, how was that effective for you? Uh, I think just to just to change up our defense, um, give them a different look on the defensive end. Um, they uh, they were drive to the basket first team. I think um, a lot of guys could take it to the rim, so I think that kind of limited that for them offensively, and um, just give them a different look. Other questions for student athletes or for Coach Smith, Rusty? Frankie, when you hit the, the jumper at the end of regulation, what were you thinking there? Did you, did you think that was the game winner? No, you never, you never tend to think it's over until it's over. We've, we've had a couple tough uh, ends of the stick at LMU and at BYU this year. So uh, in this situation, in, in this part of the season, it's never over. I was just thinking, how can we get another stop? So I'll come across the room to Jim in just a moment. On our far left. Uh, for the guards, uh, can you talk about what the first two games with Gonzaga were like, what you learned, and maybe what you'll, you'll work on coming to the third one if, they, if you do face them? Yeah, um, I mean, we played them pretty well um, when we played them, so I think we just got to come out. We know, we're, we know what they're going to do. Um, we just have to focus on us and executing on offense, on defense, and stay on the scout and um, play our hearts out because that's what it's going to come down to. I think it'll be a good atmosphere Monday night. Um, it always is in the semifinals here, and we played them tough the first two games, and it's a good opportunity. And at this point of the season, you know, yeah, it's we might be playing home. Loyola. That's right. Relax. <laughs> it's winter or go home at this point of the season. Relax. So. <laughs> I'll go down, come back to Rusty. Coach, I'm sure uh, in a perfect world you, you have a blowout today and get the rest guys and everything else. But uh, what, what does a game like this do for you as you, you try to make a run? I think it gives us confidence. I mean, I just like I said, we've been talking about playing. We didn't feel like we finished the year last year as well. I think we were two and four down the stretch in the league. And then we, we lost a tough one to Santa Clara. And we were definitely a little more poised and this year. And uh, just, it, you know, it's, it's part of your program, trying to advance and be able to play on the semis it's a big opportunity it's a good exposure for a program for our league and uh you know we got a really nice hotel that scott put us in and we really that was our motivation <laughs> to try to try to stay till monday in the aria and then I, it was threatened at halftime we'd never stay there again if we didn't play better so um that, that was part of it that's excited let's go back to jim on our far left uh, kyle the it seems like you have a lot of trust in these two guys and how they you rely on them to run everything right I mean, it's, they're part of our blueprint. When we talked about uh, our program, we got a lot of, I mean, we got really good kids in our program. Really, I, I get emotional when I talk about them. And 
But all these guys uh, being Bay Area guys um, weren't bringing back the pride of USF, and uh, they, they play their hearts out, and I could be more proud. Back to Rusty over here. No, you can wait. For Frankie and Jordan, I saw you guys go over and applaud your, your crowd at the end there uh, with Bill Cartwright standing in the middle. Is that, is that a normal thing for you guys to, to applaud them, or, or did they do something special for you to, to pull out a game like this today? Well, I think it's just you know them giving up their time, flying all the way out here to support us. Um, it means a lot, and we just want to show some gratitude towards them. And uh, Bill's always around, or Mr. Cartwright's always around. Uh, Coach Cartwright is a spe Car special assistant. Co Coach Cartwright special is, assistant. is always around the gym and, and almost at every practice, and uh, you know he's a good mentor for us and a great guy to look up to, obviously with his history and pedigree. So, yeah, it was just it was just us appreciating appreciating them coming out and supporting us. Um, a lot of them come to a lot of games, and um, we needed that. We needed that atmosphere for us um, down the stretch. So it was good for us. John, yes, to uh, <clears throat> to Kyle, you've been known uh, for, for playing a lot of uh, a lot of guys uh, uh, this season. What, what is the characteristic of, of your uh, roster that you can, depending on circumstances, play a variety of guys or some and not others? And well, is that flexible uh, it, for you? It is, and. Uh, we're, we're pretty heavy on the analytics, to be honest, like certain matchups and certain combinations that um, may be more successful against certain teams. So that's some of it. But also, we've kind of shortened it up down the stretch. I think most teams have as far as, and it's really been guys have been in the program um, for a year, now their second year. And I think somewhere in there, I think it was actually after the St. Mary's game on the road, we didn't play real well that night. But uh, something clicked, and I couldn't put my finger on it. But you know, your team can go a lot and get beat 36 on the road. Your, your team can go a lot of different ways. And these guys are really resilient and just came to work and kept practicing. We talked about being good in March and they're six and two going in or five and two going in day, six and two. And with a couple, like I said, that, you know, good coach on the sidelines might be seven and one, eight. No, <laughs> very possible. Um, but that's a testament that they're um, you don't know as a coach. Anyone coach can tell you they do. You don't know. <laughs> you don't know which way your team's going to go, and this team rallied up. And that's what. In this time of year, it's really your your players' your investment and what you're selling. That they got to want to do it. They want to. And I tell you, that Pacific team wanted to bad tonight too. So uh, that'll make us better. Final question, Jim. Kyle, if the seating holds and Gonzaga wins tonight, what are you in for Monday night? What do you take from the first two games? That uh... you're in for. Um, the transition D, you better get back on those guys and get on the glass. And they're just, they're just going to try to play bully ball a little bit. And you got to be tough. And then, then there's a whole other, you do that part, then there's a whole other tier you got to get to. But if you don't want to, you know, the initial part, um, you can, uh, it can be tough. So we'll be all right, I think. Uh, we, we, we weathered the storm. They jumped us pretty good up at their place. And our guys kept coming. We, we played pretty well. But, uh, you know, we'll see who it is. San Francisco, congrats on the win. We'll see you Monday.